everyone and welcome back to my channel so today i kind of came up with an idea which would be a silver bracelet challenge so i had this idea because a few years ago i was working like in a really a nice shop and there was this girl who was wearing two pandora bracelet but her bracelets were composed of only uh you know silver charms there were no merano no color whatsoever and I think it was a really nice style that inspired me uh, a lot when I first began collecting Pandora and yesterday I thought, well, maybe um, I should do like a design inspired by her and also um, I've heard on Instagram and some people are debating on whether Pandora should be considered as costume jewelry and because i think that people when they see a lot of colors and like the glass beads and enamel they may think that it's kind of a costume jewelry thing and they're not like convinced that pandora could be a real uh, like a precious uh, high-end uh, jewelry so <laughs> With that being said, I decided that I could come up with a design that is only like um, composed of silver charms. So in my case, I have a few uh, enamel pieces, but overall, um, I think I'm going to, to make this bracelet like, like a thing and uh, start buying only silver charms that reminds me, uh, remind me, sorry, of uh, the first um, Pandora style. <laughs> so... If you're looking to do this challenge, please uh, do it because I think it's really fun and it changes a lot. You know, I love colors and I love uh, pink and Murano's and dangles and, you know, colorful things. But, you know, sometimes um, it's nice to like to to get out of your comfort zone, if I may say so, and like start a really new style. So this is why this this video will be called the silver bracelet challenge so i'm going to go through each charm and yeah so it was really hard to design to be quite honest with you because you know we are so used of by using murano and colors and cz's and here it was kind of hard for me to design also i didn't have that much uh, dangles so yeah <laughs> so the first charm here is a heart that was gifted by me from my ex-colleagues so really simple with cutouts on the sides oh yeah and the bracelet i've used is my first ever pandora bracelet and safety chain you know i really wanted to to keep it classic and and like original <laughs> then i have this mini portrait here and on those two charms uh i was really hesitant to put them on my bracelet but I think there are mainly, as they are mainly composed of silver, it's not too big of a deal. So they look really, really, really pretty. <laughs> and when you look from far away, it's not like they make a huge uh, contrast on the bracelet. Then I have this simple silver charm. It's written Je t'aime and it was from a, a promotion. I think it was from Valentine's Day as well here also this charm i was hesitant to put it also because there's a lot of pink and and cz's but yeah i think it looks good but if i if i decide to purchase more like silver uh, charms i'm going to take this off so it's just like a filler piece then i have those simple silver clips and i think they go perfectly with the theme because i think they have been released uh, like at the beginning of Pandora, I'm not sure, but I think it's an oldie. And then here, uh, I have this Cinderella carriage, and I think it's really pretty with a lot of details. And like the two tone, I think the two tones go really well with silver, so I think it would be perfect to put on on this bracelet. Then we have the backpack charm from the newest collection as well and it's really pretty and i think that this bracelet reminds me like of a personality bracelet because everything i like is kind of uh, put together on this bracelet <laughs> i have this chara a ring that is really classic it was it's one of the first charm that i've ever bought and the bail really remind me of the clips so i think it's a perfect match as well 
So let's go upside down again. <laughs> then we have this coffee cup charm. It's just to match uh, the cupcake on the other side, but I'm really not sure if I'm going to keep it here. Then we have the oldie beer charm <laughs> and it's really cute. It's really, really pretty and it goes perfectly with my theme. Then we have the second clip. And then I have this bow, so I bought it when I first collected Pandora and I wanted to sell it um, on a pre-loved website. It was up for around like two months and people wanted to buy it for like 10 euros and I was like, I refused their offers. <laughs> and yesterday when I found this idea, I thought that um, it would be perfect on this bracelet, so I, del I deleted um the listing and i think i'm going to keep it <laughs> you know sometimes you want to sell charms because you don't like to you don't have an idea on how to use them f like at the moment but then you regret so <laughs> it happens to me a lot and then i have this cute dangle and like as usual um what i dislike about this is like the enamel heart here it, it's supposed to be white but the color faded a lot and it kind of became kind of dull, almost gray. But you know what? Um, it's kind of sad. I really don't like um, when enamel charms, like the color fades away like this. But I think they are maybe going to, to do something about it. I would rather prefer to have like a full uh, plain silver heart rather than enamel that, like that um, fades away. So then I have this cute daisy uh, daisy portrait that goes perfectly with Mini here. And I really think I might add on this bracelet like the Mini, uh, the Mickey, sorry, portrait and uh, Daisy, um, so sorry, <laughs> and Donald's portrait. So it's perfectly together. And then I have this charm, which is a Cinderella's dream. And I think it's really pretty and you know it's so delicate that you cannot even um, like it's not like a chunky charm that contrasts with a bracelet it's really dainty and feminine and I love it so much and then we have this Winnie the Pooh charm and I used it as a filler as well uh, I thought that I have I had like already two beer charms here and I thought that it could um, could match uh, easily and also like those two colors are so hard to match that I think <laughs> his place is here for the moment <laughs> so here you go guys this is my take on the silver bracelet challenge and so yeah I hope you liked it and if you're inspired please tag me on, Insta on Instagram sorry and I would love to see your design. Thank you so much for watching as usual and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.